everybody welcome back to Jordy does part three number three it's kind of funny just car rob pointed out to me last my last Jordy does video says Jordy does uh number two <laughs> like the bathroom number two so i then i changed it right away and i wrote part so when i make these videos they're just kind of like I don't know what I'm gonna do, and I just thought I'd bring you guys along with me. I don't have anything planned. I do want to get this lighthouse mostly finished. I carved this last year, but the cedar was soaking wet, so I said to myself, um, just let it dry off before I finish it. These uh, little pieces, and t the last video I filmed in 4K. This it took me six hours to edit. This one I'm filming in HD, 1080. So I got these little things here. So there'll be ropes going in between them. So like when I film in four, anyways, when I zoom in, it might not be, it might be pixelated. So I got those here and then I got to drill little holes. I got my little bench, uh, bench drill thing, bench press. I got that here. I also got my 500 eye chainsaw here too, because also, I lowered my microphone on my um, jacket, so hopefully you guys don't have to hear me huffing and puffing. But um, yeah, so there's the saws I got here today. Here's the 500i, my two battery saws, and a, a 170 with a 16 inch bar. I got my Trend Air mask. I carved this yesterday. The burl guy. I just thought it looked. I thought it might look better with a couple more faces in there. So this guy's just this. Kind of a weird face. I'm putting it in the spirit trails and just a Chinese wood spirit there. And this is my dragon. This is my sea monster, you see? There's this big tooth sticking out and he's got an eye here and his breather hole. People are gonna be like, what is it? And they say, well, it is whatever you want it to be. I'm also thinking about painting this uh, gnome. And uh, yeah, I still gotta finish that. I'm gonna let, let it dry out a little bit longer. I'll get to this next week. I'll finish it up. And um, yeah, here's my drill press. So I gotta hook this drill press up and drill a bunch of little holes in these things for this paint feels sticky. I painted it yesterday, but I gotta drill a bunch of little holes in these things for the rope to go through. You see? I also I drilled these holes too big. So I gotta re-drill them. Then inset them in the reed in the holes that will be the right size. Then I got my hot glue gun and some epoxy, and I don't know, I'll figure that out. But I measured them four inches apart. These front ones are a little bit wider. I, I don't care. Anyways, I'll get this drill press going. Oh yeah, I might finish this one off today too. I'm not too sure. I might go see the buddy owes me some cedar slabs, so I might go see him today too. And uh, I haven't slept so. You know, in these videos where I don't sleep, who knows what I'm going to say. Oh, I also brought this too. This is that wall burl. I might uh, carve it out and haul it out because I want to make a little theme in here for a Dremel video. So I got lots of stuff. That's why I, it's Jordy does because I'm not too sure. But I do know that I want to get these little things put in there. Oh, I also, why I brought the 500i because I got to drop this and make sure it's cut good on the bottom because it doesn't doesn't sit straight. I got the saw on underneath it to make it sit straight. All right, so I got that drill size on here. Nothing too special about this, but shit done so how about I get these done and I'll be back actually I might as well tell you guys the story with this lighthouse is I'm carving it as a gift for a friend um, his best friend and a friend of mine was killed on his Harley last year or yeah I think it was last year or the year before and um, his friend, I don't want to say any names, but his friend um, was really, well, they belonged to a motorcycle club. 
and his friend was really supportive of my carvings. Well, they both are. And so I thought, because the friend that's still alive, he does a lot for people. So I thought that I'd make this for him. As, uh, because the, the friend that passed away, you know, one day he just showed up, um, showed up with a box full of chisels he got for me at a flea market. So, so I was getting some more of these things. Like I say, this channel's, a lot of it's about giving back. So anyways, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get these painted. I might have to wait till later today till I put them in. But, um, and I've run out of black friggin' paint. Son of a bitch. Okay, so I found uh, some more paint. So obviously this lighthouse is gonna be a outdoor piece. And my friend that this is going to, I haven't actually seen him in a while, but he's so supportive. He's bought some of my um, eagle carvings for his yard. So I don't know, I'm just one of those people I like giving back, it's just who I am. I don't think it will ever change. I'm doing these outside here because, uh, well that sun's coming out today, that's nice. It's been springtime here and um, it's been miserable out. So maybe I chose a good day not to sleep. Get those ends painted really good. So yeah, I think what I'll do now is drop the log and cut it the bottom straight. Man, I hate cutting, I'm not good at doing straight cuts because, you know, these saws, I'm left-handed. These saws are all made for right-handed people, right? So it's hard to get straight cuts when you're left-handed. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Oh yeah, well, I kind of forgot to say, stand by. Yeah, I forgot to, got to say I cleaned up the shop yesterday too. I got all this organized. I don't know if you guys are on face. The one of people that aren't on Facebook, I posted uh, carvings for sale on Facebook. And um, so, for example, this one, I posted this one. I don't know how well you can see it from the sun reflection, but this is a flower planter, right? You put plants in there. So there's one here, one here. And this piece isn't done yet. I got a finishing upgrade like this is a flower planter nobody said anything about these carvings but the i had an owl let me explain better i carved an owl last year and i didn't have any plants on it and when i put stuff up for sale on facebook nobody messaged me but this year when i put i've put up i posted like 10 carvings for sale i do every, a couple times every summer and like 10 people messaged me for the planter because it has nice green fresh succulents in it, right? So your planters, when you're selling planters online, make sure you have plants in them. I'm telling you right now from experience, spend the extra money, put some nice bright colorful stuff in there and um, you'll, you'll get way more success. But yeah, so I sold three or four wood spirits too. So, but I do, I want to start uh, carving some bears it's time. I'm kind of getting, I'm never going to be sick of carving wood spirits, but I'm kind of getting to the point where I need to start carving more three-dimensional stuff. And, that you know, I got to move on from gnomes. I can't keep on doing gnomes. And I guess I didn't plug in my phone because I film on my phone. I guess I didn't plug it in good the last night because the battery's almost dead. So I'm going to cut this down. I might do some other things and I'll be back. Who knows? I might even work on this double owl one today. I was going to make an eagle and an owl, but I'm going to make it two owls. And everybody was text messaging me for the message to be, how much for the owls? How much for the gnome? Man, that sun is coming out nice today. It might be a beauty of a day. It might be a t-shirt kind of day today. Um, I did say in one of my recent videos, shout out Studio on the Lake, that I have a lot of stuff from 
when I first started doing carving and stuff like that I got excited and I started buying everything so these are some coat hangers that I bought a few years back I got these stars here I got these anchors I got more anchors than I got stars I don't feel like carving waves today but yeah so these are all anchors in here but I did manage to pull find enough stars to do this board here I got two more stars hold on so so there you go I got six one two three four I got five one two three four five perfect six is arch and beyond numbers so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna carve I'm gonna carve how can I explain it I'm gonna carve a line here I'm gonna draw a line I'm gonna carve it so these are back more so they're screwed on back here and then I'm gonna carve well what I'm gonna do is carve these back more and I'm gonna carve this line here then I'm gonna take some of this wood away and make it so there's like a little shelf on this too this is a I think it's four inch where's my tape measure and like I said if you guys don't want to watch this this is kind of what I'm doing today and yeah so it's four inch so yeah I'm gonna carve a line sink these back below the shelf then there's a shelf that I think I might carve I was gonna carve trees but maybe I'll just do simple mountains something really easy for all you uh, that have access to slabs you know uh, coat racks turn an eagle this big trees coming down they're cutting it down um, like I showed in the earlier the video Judy and Scott aren't here anymore they, they've moved out and uh, the farmer's son's moving in he's gonna build a big shop here and they're gonna cut down this big old cottonwood tree and I think they're cutting those down too so um, I got it drawn out here I'm just gonna kind of have to film as I go I had this ruler here so this is gonna be my shelf this I gotta cut down maybe my maybe my long bars I can just do one cut so it's all straight in there anyways I'm just gonna start cutting and I'll just I guess I'll film maybe so I gotta think how far back do I want to push those um, thing things maybe like uh, not too far back let's go two inches two inches there two inches there so I know you guys can't see but Larry Dibbs if you're watching this this is the piece I said I got for you but it's edge grain like this so I don't think it's I think you're better off curving face grain so there you go so I gotta cut this out why is it only oh it's the other side so I gotta cut that two inches let me turn this around so basically I have to cut all this wood out here out so all I'll do what's that that's not two inches what's this that's only like a yeah that's two inches that's like uh three inches so what I'll do is I'll stand it up sorry I'm gonna stand it up at my uh, jaw horse yeah so that's two inches so the first cut will be two inches
Come on, you son of a... So I got this one's... Shit, what, what, which one was two inches now? That's what happens when you're overly tired. I shouldn't even be using the chainsaws. So I'm gonna get my, this filming. Yeah. So what I'm gonna to do to be safe, is I'm gonna mark two inches on my bar. Anyways, so I'm gonna measure it. Okay, so you can see. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's a friggin' rustic, we'll call it folk art, wall hanger. So that's my depth. I got that mark on there for two inches. Caprende, caprende. Just follow the line. <laughs> Oh, I'm using my Still MS A140 with the 50 gauge chain on there. the line so now I'm gonna mark my bar three inches and do that other cut stand by yeah I don't know what I did because this is supposed to be to oh I'm right yeah this is three inches this way piece of junk this jaw horse anyways got it Now, this is where the big saw comes in to effect. And I suggest everybody wear their chaps. This is going to be kind of. See what I'm going to do? It's got that shelf cut in there. What do I think of such stupid projects? I got that shelf in there, so now I'm gonna get my big saw. Let's do a nice boom down here to there, to the cut. I'm not very smart. No, I'm not. So a whisper inside told me, um, Put your chaps on, Jordy. So I got my chaps on. So 
I don't know, we'll see if it works. I know this bar's not going to reach, it's probably going to make it to about here, so I'll have to use my other saw to finish it off. I have to do some prying, but this backboard here, once this front piece is gone, we're only going to have two inches, so we don't want to break this back part off where we're going to carve the trees, or whatever we're going to carve, or the mountains. Stand by. You know, you guys don't have to be doing all this cuts. You can just get a uh, plank and do it. Even like a 2x12 from the hardware store, you can carve a coat hanger with that. So let's see how far this will make it. Another thing I got to do first, too, is cut this. Oh, that's okay. I'll do, I'll do with that after. So here goes nothing. Wish me luck. Hopefully I didn't cut too far back there. Oh, there's a little bit.
Too bad I didn't sink the too bad I sunk the saw so deep in there, but that's okay. Right here. Well, that's pretty that's pretty friggin' deep. I guess I'll have to make this shelf thinner. Or I'll think of something. But there's the thickness I got for the mountains. So we got lots of thickness. Maybe that can just stay like that. I don't care. This is just a friggin' rustic thing, right? I don't care. You care? Anybody wants to buy it, I'll be like, what are you talking about? Things are freaking, it's a rustic piece. I don't care. Then don't buy it. Okay, so I went along and I made that shelf a bit thinner. Cut out that spot that was dug in there. That part, like, a little bit there. I don't care. A little bit there. I'll clean that up after. Now let's draw the mountains on. My mountains don't um, look the best. But I heard a tip, I forget who it was, but mountains are like, can... and this is just my opinion, mountains aren't like, never like, pointy peaks like that. Kind of like, the one back here, Let's let the top carry on, then we'll bring this one down here. And then, you know, you can make the mountain like have like a peak here too. Just whatever you guys, they don't all have to be the same height too, right? Like, So yeah, all I'm gonna do is, you can even make it so the mountains have background mountains. Yeah, let's do that. Trying to see. See, kind of see. Like, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. Check the oil on your battery saws all the time. Your, the bar oil. These things run out of bar oil super fast. I'm just using canola oil. Can, canola oil. Canolia oil. Cornholia oil. Man, oil's sure gone up in price, hasn't it? So all I'll do is just cut out the top. Cut out the, the notches, then I'll do the thing. I feel like I should have sanded this first. But anyways. Try and keep remember your line. So now, this is a back mount, so I need to push that back.
And same with this one. So this mountain comes down here. Let's tuck this mountain behind that one too. So then I'm gonna have to tuck this one back a bit further too, right? So I can do that with the uh, grinder so you kind of see let's see uh, this one needs to be pushed back a bit good I don't know, I think they look like mountains. Now I'm probably getting carried away. But you see this mountain here? Can you guys see that? This thing's even filming. See how this one just kind of looks a little bit plain? So how do we do that? Let's uh, break it apart right here. can do what you want it's kind of messing around so now okay it's, my battery's dying I gotta charge it but does that look like mountains to you I think it does maybe but anyways I gotta charge it and if I was trying to talk when I was uh, running running my saw I was saying I keep out of line from my bar so 
this is if I if you couldn't hear me so when I was cutting in here I would look to see if it was straight slow it down then I because if this, if it kicked back oh boy that's the biggest saw I got that's not even that that big of a saw that 500 I but if that chain hit you look out I gotta charge my phone I'm gonna clean up the ledge and stuff with my grinder with a flap sander I'll show you after Hey, uh, Mr. Grass and all you other people that uh, complain about the Canadian geese shitting on your grass while well, they're flying back now. So don't worry, they're coming back to Canada. So, um, I fixed my shelf. Now the owl up there has a friend. I carved this owl with uh, Uncle Kevin and Ryan, and I carved this eagle. It's not done yet, but I just thought it would look good up there for now. And I carved that. That's the bigger spy or the lawyer, whatever I called it. And I fixed my shelf so it's not sagging so much anymore. Let's put some boards in there. And okay, let's talk about the carving. All right, so there it is. So this cedar, I know firsthand, oh, it doesn't burn very well because it's wide grain and it's super soft. Um, well, yeah, I guess I should burn it. But you guys, you'll know the more that you, I could paint, I could put black paint up there and uh, do that. But I don't have any black paint here. So yeah, so like I've carved lots of this wood. Um, that's what, this is what my headboard's carved, carved out of. And I got some other carvings in my room. It's carved out of. It's just super wide grain soft cedar. And I didn't spend much time cleaning this up. I just kind of just, oh, sorry, I used that. The grinder like with 120 grit, flap sander. And then I went, went over it quickly with this uh, orbit sander. But there's still tons of marks and stuff on it. I don't really care. So I think um, what I'll do now is I might as well burn it. I'm going to burn under here. Pretty good. And then I'll burn um, here. I'll leave this, try and leave this raw looking, natural. But I'll burn up here and stuff. You're gonna, with this um, wide grain cedar, you're gonna softer the wood, you're gonna burn away your details. So you gotta kind of remember that. You know, I used to buy those um, yellow tanks or the blue tanks for the propane, but now I just buy this stuff. The green, the, the cheapest, so. It might not be the hottest, but it's the cheapest. But this is a turbo torch. I think the turbo torch um, throws the most heat for sure. This isn't a cheap uh, torch yet. It's over a hundred bucks, I think. But uh, yeah, turbo torch throws the most heat in my opinion. So I'm gonna burn underneath that seam. And then, um, yeah, let's see here. Sorry, everybody. It wasn't uh, filming when I burnt the mountains. But I you can see I burnt along the bottom deep. Then I burnt the mountains where the cracks are and the lines are. I don't know if I was saying, I don't know if this is uh, just ready rod here. See how worn out it is from my uh, drill. But this is just a ready rod with a couple nuts on it in the back. And you got a nut on the front. And this is just a belt sander. I got two boxes of this. My buddy works at a, a metal shop. So this stuff was... Um, worn out to them but it's not worn out to me and actually this is the best stuff that I've had since the stuff that he gave me it's uh, lasting the longest so it's metalworking steel steel sandpaper so I don't know what I want to do if I want to hit it with the where's the other one um, you know the nylon wheel I don't know if I want to hit it with the nylon wheel if I want to hit it with this Actually, maybe I should try it with this. I think that's what I'll do. I'll put my uh, dust mask on. For any of you that don't know, this is the trend. AirPro 
Air Shield Pro. It's like 600 bucks, but this uh, you can have a big beard and use this. It has filters right there. You can see that white stuff. Those are the filters. So it pushes air in so it doesn't fog up. I love this mask. I don't know. I'm going to try it with the uh, orbit sander first. If that doesn't work good enough, then I'll pull out my uh, the flap sander thing. You hear my dust mask run probably. I don't know, I think that looks pretty good. You see the chainsaw lines that I was talking about? I'm turning this mask off. But there's one of those lines that I was talking about that I wish I would have cleaned up good better. But I don't care. You care? I wish I had some clear coat here. Because then I could probably wrap this up and put the hangers on it. Yeah, you see like I can look on the camera and I can see things right that I can't see in real life like see those they look like they're points like that you have to get in there and sand a bit uh, deeper so let me just mark that keep an eye on that one I might even be able to sand that line out too Okay, so there you can see it's all uh, it's all done. So far not from perfect, but it's a chainsaw carving. Um, I haven't put a finish on anything all winter. I, I just thought it was too cold, but I do have this stuff. It's all gummy in there. I'm gonna have to, it's super thick right now too. I wish I had some mineral spirits. I don't even know if you could mix it, but this is a uh, Verithane Pro. I think I'm gonna take this this um, I don't think it's gonna rain well I might do it in my tent my uh, warehouse tent and put a finish on this yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do <laughs> I think I'm gonna do it why not so let me get all set up and actually this is so uh, it's so thick I don't think it's safe to use. I'm gonna have to uh, read up on this stuff, see if I 
maybe some of you guys will know if I can, uh, I believe this is, uh, I don't know if it's oil based. Great, let's see here. Great for floors, professional grade, fast drying, uh, gloss, oil based. So I don't know if I can thin this out with, um, thin this, thin this out with uh, mineral spirits. I, I don't know. I think I can, but I don't have any here. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. But anyways, I found this stuff instead. This is just stuff, it's a sealed can. Interior, liquid, liquid plastic. Clear urethane. Perfect, so I'll use this stuff. Just gonna mix it up. Actually, no, I found this stuff, I'll use this stuff. Yeah. You know, I'm probably doing a real stupid thing. Like I don't even need to do this right now because like, why? I could just freaking, I switched back to this stuff because the other stuff was white and I don't like putting white stuff. I, I, I did, it, it's white and it goes clear, but I've had problems with that stuff before. And that other stuff was all like uh, milky so I got it on an angle so it's thick so it can run off down that way onto the, I got a tarp thing down there. So I'm praying that the sun comes out today. Well it is, trying. Oh yeah, there's blue sky right there. Cause like, what's the rush, man? What's the rush? There should be no rush. But I'm always in a rush. It's stupid is what it is. This goopy stuff. I'm pretty sure I could have used the... Uh, the um, mineral spirits to thin it down. Anyways, I don't feel like talking right now because I'm stupid. But uh, I'll get this done and then I'll show you. And yeah. So anyways, I, I remember this stuff. When it's on direct sun, it uh, likes to bubble. So I got to carry this thing into my carving tent. Hopefully it doesn't fall over. Fell of the sun. Yeah, but anyways, don't be a freaking Jordy. That's all I got to say about that. I could have drip on that. Yeah, I see all these little bubbles. Yeah, anyways, what next? Well, at least I can carve now. No sawdust will hit it. I think it looks all right. So what next? It's still early. I don't want to see. I haven't slept, so I want to stay up. And um, because if I go home, I'm gonna go to sleep. I'll sleep all day. That's no good. I'm gonna get my sleeping schedule back on track. Okay, so that was something really stupid I did. I should have just waited till I got some clear, better clear coat. But all you can do is hope it works out. It is starting to get tacky, so. I also had to lay it flat because you could see it was running. This is a engine hoist for like a dirt bike or a, like a small engine. I bought it at Canadian Tire. I think it was like, I don't know, 300 bucks or something. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to burn in this, uh, burn in these rocks really deep. And then uh, like 
normally is this on camera is this on film here normally I like I, you could paint inside here too then sand it but I'm gonna burn it because this I'm pretty sure I'm gonna give this seat all seat all is just a different wood fish shut up Okay, so I'll do a time lapse of this. Okay. It's only like 10:30 in the morning. I feel like I've already got. Uh, I'm ahead of schedule. Well, I don't have any schedule, but I think I'm doing pretty good. But I got no energy left. Nothing. And I'm out of coffee. All right. So that's done. Well, it's not done, but it's getting there done. So I think what I'm gonna do next is work on this green man here. Cause I'm tired of looking at it. I'm just sick of looking at this. And it needs to be done. I didn't finish it cause it was soaking wet cedar. This is a flower planter too. There's a there's a rock up here that I hold it out up here, but um, it's, it's sure a lot lighter now. Yeah, I gotta freaking figure something out here. I don't know if any of you guys are still even gonna be watching this, but I gotta. Move this lighthouse. Um, move this burrow, man. Get this jaw horse out of here. You guys think chainsaw carving is easy when you get into bigger stuff this and I don't even do big stuff I don't even do big carvings my stuff my chainsaw carving small compared to what chainsaw real chainsaw carvers do that's why I don't want a forklift well I got a forklift but that's why I don't want to machine because I don't want to start doing bigger stuff this is the stuff I'm doing is big enough okay that looks pretty good set up now I get a screw Screw it in. Oh boy. Perfect. So why I chose this to finish this, well, like I said, I'm sick of looking at it. 
and I don't really want to be doing, uh, here you see these double owls I said I was going to do, I talked about it earlier in the video, I was going to start carving these owls, but um, I don't want to be swinging chainsaws too much right now, I've already done enough of that, so that's why I'll just sit on my ass. This is a carving fusion office chair right here. This chair. And um, sit there with my die grinder and just work in those leaves. I get asked this question often. When your burrs plug up, that's because you've carved wet wood usually. So all I do is I just turn this on at a lower speed. Get a torch and heat it up. Burn it all out. Now some some of you might say, well you're you're uh ruining the steel that way, Jordy. Well, I don't care. That's how I do it, and that's how other people do it too, so whatever. Crank your torch on full blast. See those red things? That's the wood. See, look, there's still some in there. But that's how I do it. Okay, I'll just uh, run live with this for a few minutes. My phone's gonna die. But um, you guys can just watch whatever, I might add some music or something. And I can't talk because I'm putting my uh, mask on. I'm not going to detail like this like crazy, I'm just going to shape those uh, leaf petals a bit better. Or whatever you want to call them. I'm loaded right now. That's still not dry yet. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the hangers on there today. So, super tired, super tired. Don't judge. Don't be a judger. Let's check out this green man. That cedar, now I know why I, I left that piece alone for so long. Because that cedar was the worst cedar I've ever carved. It's like carving foam. Well, not foam, but it's just fuzzy, junky stuff. So I said, man, I already put so much freaking work into this. I might as well keep going and give them some paint. And I carved these little flowers in there. And I don't, I was just painting, I don't care, I just painted it, got it done. So there's a pretty colorful piece. Carved him some big funny eyes. Yep. Okay, so. I guess I'm pretty well done. I'm spent. 
I guess I should uh, get those things in this lighthouse. I'm just going to hot glue them in. It's uh, not too often I get tired, but right now I'm freaking tired. Let me get my carbon fusion forklift here. Okay, let's do it over here so you guys can look at the green man when I'm doing this. Stand by, oh no, I got the hot glue gun in this bag here and all the stuff, oh. Hot glue gun. In case that one doesn't work, hot glue gun. Uh, I'll use this one first, but it's full of that. Uh, this standby, we'll get this figured out. So I'm putting them all in place before I, I don't know if I showed you guys, but I drilled little holes in them. Oh yeah, so I showed that beginning of the video because I gotta get some rope and put some rope through them is this thing on yet I want to get this thing out of here It's like wax that's uh, in here. I think it is anyways. Okay, so now we're coming to the clear stuff. So it's, it's going to uh, heat up again. Should I get a square? Man, I think I tweaked my back. <laughs> anyways. Yeah, I can't find my little square, so I'm going to have to eyeball this. I just want to set them in with the hot glue gun. And then tomorrow I can uh, epoxy them. It doesn't matter if they're not perfect. I don't care. And you probably don't care either. Just gotta make sure the holes are uh, lined up with each other. I don't know if you guys will even, maybe I should just finish this and then, uh, yeah, some are drilled deeper than others and I don't say I'm tired that often, but when I'm tired, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop at McDonald's on the way home and get a. Hey, where's the hole in that one? Get a twenty thing of McNuggets. Chicken McNuggets, that is. 
and uh, hot mustard and barbecue sauce. Yeah, these are, uh, I don't know, whatever. It is what it is. Have you ever seen a perfect lighthouse? Well, there's the farmer. Oh, that's not the farmer. Hey guys. That's the cow kids. Two more to go. Okay, I'll get these done and I'll be back. That's and that's gonna be it. For, oh, that one's crooked. Okay, so I think I'm gonna end up painting the whole top black because, well, it's, it's an outdoor piece, and uh, if you paint some black on it, well, I'm gonna. What am I talking about? I'm going to see tall anyways, but I think I'm going to paint it black. I put the hot glue in all the way. Oops. Put it in all the way around him. I said to myself, well, why don't I just hot glue them in? Because, well, it's probably... There goes the farmer probably a lot easier than using epoxy but anyways I'm gonna melt this glue a bit so it's nice gets rid of all the little stringy things Now those suckers ain't going anywhere. No. Once that glue's once that glue dries up, that's gonna be it for me today, I tell ya. I tell you that much right now. I uh oh yeah, I tweaked my back. I can't even remember what I did today. Is that it? This put these in, carve the rocks on the lighthouse. What else did I do? Is that it? Oh, and the, the freaking thing thing. The picture, th the jacket holder thing. That's going to be it at uh, Jordy Does this, this time, everybody. I'm so tired I can't even talk, but uh, let me know what you think of these videos. I appreciate all the support. And now I got to take a... a did a couple extra ones because well I can take this to the hardware store and get some little rope for in here. And oh yeah, we got a I got a light for this too. It's been sitting out in the sun all day. Well, outside. So we'll finish with that off. We'll put the light on it. It's like a it's an expensive one. I think it was like 140 bucks or something. A solar powered light. There, I'll get it right now. Here it is. So I don't, didn't know if I wanted to build it. Oh, oh shit, I forgot to do that. I have to drill a hole and put a, 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 a ready rod in there so it can sit like that. Yeah, but let me turn the lights off. Let's see if this light goes on. It's probably not on. It's the on button right here. There you go. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, no, that's perfect. That's gonna be. That's gonna. That's that's it. I was wondering if I should build up like a a block of wood and then have this sit up higher. But that's uh, good the way it is. I don't know, that's perfect. Oh yeah, sure is. Okay, turn the lights back on. See, watch that light turn off. I hope this is filming so you guys can see that. Yeah, there you go. So it's motion detector one. Anyways, everybody, seriously, that's gonna be it for me today. I'm done. I am completely done. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of the green man. And let me know what you think of this. And let me know what you think of these longer videos. I just carved Rob, Studio on the Lake, Larry Dibbs, all you friends. Hope everybody's doing good. Being safe and we'll talk to you later. I'm done. Carving Fusion. Over and out. What the hell? What the fuck? Fuck!